If you guys are looking for a cheap and reliable place to get your FIFA Ultimate Team coins, check the link in the description and use the code ETANI to get 5% off. What is up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we actually have a nice little player that EA has released. Now I wanted to do a um, flashback Aguero but I didn't have time. This one just came out so I thought why not do it on Alessandrini. We all know how overpowered he was so this is pretty much a flashback to when he was overpowered. So he was very overpowered in one of the previous FIFAs. Don't know exactly which one. People were forcing him into the team. He is French so you kind of can link him. I can't remember exactly what league. I think it was the MLS where he was at. Um, so it's going to be interesting. Is he as good as he was before? Again, we do need right wingers in this game. There's so many left wingers. Let's see what do we get. Let's um, change his position and take a look at his stats. I haven't looked at his stats once yet. So he did require an 85 rated team. Let's take a look. Full star, full star, right off the bat, looks pretty good. Now, he has, he is left footed on the right side, so it's going to be good to cut in with him, but crossing, at least he has a full star weak foot, so it kind of balances it out. We'll see. <clears throat> so, pace, 93 acceleration, 91 sprint speed, 84 attack positioning, not the greatest. A lot of players right now have really high attack positioning. Finishing is okay. Short power is insane, but hey. Long shots don't mean anything in this game because of AI block. So shot power, again, very important. Long shots don't mean anything right now until EA patch AI blocks, which should be coming next week. Visions 83, crossings 83, free kick accuracy is 85. And then we have short passing 81, 76 long passing, curve 88, 97 agility as well, 90 balance, which is insane, 85 reactions, 86 ball control, 86 dribbling and 85 composure. So dribbling stats are the highlight of this Alessandrini card. I'm um, insane dribbling stats. I'm really, really going to enjoy using him just by looking at his dribbling stats. And when it comes to his physical, 81 stamina could be better. I don't know how tight he's going to get. A lot of wingers these days have so much stamina. Aggression though, 86. Now that's going to be interesting. How hard is he going to fight for us? um in the penalty area i was just running on the wings against these fullbacks so we have a nice little team around him um our front three are untradeable yep we packed this name in a two-player pack fortunately I haven't played with him much base icon pack we got the stoich as you guys saw and um a decent midfield just a cheap premier league team really with a crazy front three so let's see what this alessandrini can do actually what chemistry style should we put on him and what traits he's injury prone one of the most in, one of the most annoying traits because that means you're going to have to use a lot of injury cards now we have outside foot shot which is always good flair but i would actually use hmm i don't even know to be honest maybe it's just something to boost his attack positioning because it's really low that's what i would go with so I went with finisher and I'll tell you why because I realized his finishing isn't the greatest so I put plus 15 on that he gets six plus shot power and the rest is just pretty much max now look at his dribbling stats 99 agility 95 balance and his and his dribbling stats maxed out now as well all right let us take a look at this um this guy's got money up front as a striker same maximin Salah up front as well this is very, very pacey. That was a nice goal, to be fair. So, can't complain. Oh my days. Auto blocks are actually disgusting in this game. Like, you make the space, the goalkeepers, they're, they're dumb. They're just, there's no point of them. You might as well just have more defenders. <laughs> oh my god. And that's it. I really can't wait for the patch to come out. Like you clear, you could create 
chances so easily in this game. It is just the defenders bail out all these players so easily just because of the auto blocks, man. <laughs> there we go. There's Alessandrini. Um, we did well there, to be honest. We did well, but <sighs> auto blocks really kill me in this game. Really kill me. It's like they have five goalkeepers in the net. Oh, come on. It's like a mission to actually get a goal without getting blocked. Holy crap. We come back. We come back. We make a nice comeback. I don't know what this guy is going to change in his formation or if he's going to rage quit at 2-2. We'll see what he does. But for now, Stoich, Alessandrini on the scoreboard. Um, there's one thing I want to say about Alessandrini. We need to look at his work rates. He does seem to be out of position quite a bit. We have him on getting behind. But he doesn't get behind, get him behind frequently, you know? So we need to see what kind of formation he might be suitable for but he definitely doesn't feel like he's in position it could be his attack positioning even though we increased it so maybe we needed to increase it even more that was a good goal from this guy as well that was a good goal from him as well so we get bad in the first match now when it comes down to Alessandrini, he was out of position frequently throughout the match. We need to go back and look at his work rates. Now, even though we put, even though we put stay back, sorry, not stay back, stay central and get him behind, he did not do that. So I wonder what his work rates are. I don't even remember if we even checked them. So let's take a look at Alessandrini's work rates. Am I enjoying him? He's okay once you get him into position, but getting him there seems to be weird. High medium. It's not that bad. Why does he seem out of position a lot? All right, so... Oh, this guy's got Red Gomez. Oh, uh, man. This is going to be sway. Right off the bat, at least he was in position there. I don't know what happened in the first match, but that was a very nice pass. Really nice handling from him. He does have really good ball control. Why would he do that with his Mendy? No idea. Oh, the dribbling on him is so good. I feel like if Autoblocks get nerfed, this Alessandrini can be good. He can be good to dribble pass plays, but... And like... Find space and shoot right now. Auto blocks are just too much, man. Too damn much. Well, that was a good pass. Let's go. We get a pen. We get a pen. Let's go. Against this icon. <sighs> okay, let's put it on Alessandrini. Let's have decent pens, actually. There we go. Gets a rebound. It's unfortunate. We did put the we did place the defender to auto block that, but rebounded right back to him for an easy goal. Let's go! Come on, Alessandrini, cut in. There we go. It worked. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> this game, man. This game is just it's just you just have to laugh. 
You just have to laugh. So Alessandrini gets us a goal. Again, going on the wings, not Meg the Zekipo, but going on the wings seems to be the most overpowered. Even if the player tackles you, you get a corner, you know? It's just, they, they will always expect you to cut in, no matter what. We're open for the finesse shot. Garbage finesse shot. Absolutely garbage finesse shot. And that is it, boys. That is it for Alessandrini. Is he worth 85 rated squads? Does he feel any different? I'm going to be honest with you guys. I've played with way better right wingers. There's way better ones for cheaper as well. Um, We did try him out. He did score three goals. We did kind of force the ball to him because we want to try him out to see how good he actually really is. But in the end, I can't recommend him. I just can't. For the price, 85 rated squad is better options. And it's like you're forcing him into the squad because of the league he plays in. As a super sub, he could do damage. His dribbling is amazing. His shooting is awesome. Again, we should have scored way more if there's no auto blocks. But unfortunately, there is. So, any assists? Two from Stoichkov. And that's it. So, overall... Um, he's pacey. He's, um, kind of strong, quite aggressive. But in the end, his, his positioning really, really annoyed me. So with that being said, maybe a super sub, but I wouldn't count on him being like any, I wouldn't count on him being like an end player or like overpowered, like in the previous FIFAs. Even though he has high medium work rate, it has to come down to his low p attack positioning where I'm feeling like he's not making the right runs or he's not doing something correctly, you know? So that's what it's going to come down to. So shooting is amazing. Dribbling is insane. Probably the best thing about him. He's pacey, but again, full star, full star. The positioning hurt him a lot for me. So I'm going to give him like an eight. The positioning was that bad for me. I'm going to give him an eight. I... Told him to get him behind numerous times. Um, made sure to do it in both matches. Just didn't listen, really. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hit like button if you did. And hopefully you have a very nice day.